What is up guys, it's Lee here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the sexy text like Fearless. All right, so uh, we see this tutorials for you, man. So Fearless has a lot of, uh, his text looks pretty good. So um, usually it's moving around a lot and it looks very, has a lot of flow to it. So I'm just gonna uh, write something, hey guys, all right? I'm just gonna write that there. And so, uh, if my After Effects wouldn't freeze, you know, we could, uh, oh, alright. So I'm gonna write, hey guys. Um, now if we're just normally subtitling, you know, and we just pop it on the screen, that doesn't look too great. Um, I mean, it, everything has their own time and place. But what we can do is transform the text by lowering the scale, uh, setting a keyframe like at zero for the scale, moving, moving forward a few keyframes and then resetting it to 100. Now that doesn't look like fearless text at all. So now what we can do is add motion blur and it still doesn't really look like it. Now what we can do is add a curve here and click on the scale and we're gonna speed up the text at the beginning and then slow it down towards the end. Now we're kind of, we're kind of getting there, all right? So now another thing that Fearless does is uh, he adds, his text is always moving. So if we all click on the uh, position for the text, we can write wiggle. I think I talked about this in another one of my tutorials, but basically uh, this uh, expression is going to move the text. Uh, it's gonna move the position depending on what numbers you put in. So the first number is gonna be how many times per second. The second number is gonna be how many pixels. So I'm gonna do one time per second and let's say like 20 pixels, All right? So now you see the text is moving. Uh, and also another thing that Fearless does, I don't think Fearless uses a uh, stroke on his text, which is the black uh, outline. Uh, Fearless uses uh, drop shadow. So if you right click on the text and go to layer styles and drop shadow, uh, you get a drop shadow there. And it uses like different colors and stuff. First, I'm gonna make the opacity 100%, and then I'm gonna make the color something, I'm gonna make it blue. And I'm actually gonna change the size to zero so that it's not like, a, so that it's not a freaking, you know, a blurry. And I'm gonna change the blend mode to normal. And then we get text like this. And also, also what we can do is, so Fearless, sometimes his, uh, the letters kind of like spread out a bit. So what we're gonna do is, in order to do that, we're gonna go to uh, the animate section of the text and I'm pretty sure uh, tracking is the, the thing that spreads out the letters. Uh, I'm not sure though, not sure. If you need After Effects would load. All right guys, my After Effects finished loading. Uh, so yeah, I believe the tracking, yeah, tracking is definitely the thing that he uses. So uh, what we can do is set a keyframe for this at the beginning and then at the end we can set it to something like further apart and then we have to also remember to add our curve uh to the tracking so it goes fast at the beginning and slower at the end um maybe that's a little bit too fast at the beginning so we're just gonna adjust it and we have to let's make it last a little bit longer to get the full effect of it. Um, and that's pretty much uh, how you, <laughs> that's pretty much how you do fearless text. Uh, and we can like freaking change the opacity, keyframe the opacity out. I don't think he really does opacity, but I mean, I'm sure he does sometimes. Like, 
uh, to end it out, you know? And yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And of course, everything is going to be different, you know? It's not always the same kind of effect that he adds to his thing. Like, hold on. Here. I'm actually going to change what it says here. It's me elite. All right. And then I'm actually going to go to layer styles, drop shadow, change the color to something else. And by the way, the tracking animation, uh, that's not something that I believe is used that often, but it's, I just thought I would throw it in there. Oh, and one more thing to go over. Uh, the bounce. Sometimes there is a bounce on the text. So what we could do for that is uh, I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate the text layer. I want to hide the bottom two ones. And so you only see this one here. Um, here I'm going to change the text as well. Uh, welcome. I just spelled welcome wrong. Welcome. All right. So in order to do a bounce, you know, this bouncing is something that uh, I really don't have too much experience with. So every, th every time I make a bounce, I have to pretty much play around with it a lot. So basically, you want to make a keyframe before the last keyframe for the scale animation. And the, the keyframe before the last keyframe should be a little bit higher than the last one. And you see, that doesn't look too great. So we're going to have to go to the curves. I mean, it looks okay, but we're going to have to go to the curves of this bounce here. And we're just going to adjust it to make the curve look a little bit uh, smoother. We're just going to expand this out actually a little bit. And just like this... We might have a smoother, we should have a smoother animation. And it takes a little bit of trial and error. So what do we have? We have, I mean, you just gotta just take what I taught you and apply it however, you know, tweak it however you want to. And, you know, of course you don't want to copy fearless. Uh, so just try to put your own twist on it. But thank you everyone for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Wheezy, this video was to help you, and I'll see you guys later.